Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I wanted to quickly do a Vegas overview because all of this week, I'll be recapping my trip to Vegas with the videos that I took while we were there and showing you some of the pictures that we um, were able to take while we were out and about seeing the sights and everything. Um, I'm actually supposed to be getting dressed to go to a uh, Black History Month step show right now. So this is going to be super quick, but you know, you got to get it in when you can get it in. Um, and I just got finished feeding him. I don't know which way I should go. There he is. So I probably only have a few minutes anyway before I have to get off of this. Um, but anyway, first of all, let's just do a recap or a review of my hair. Um, because that's something that I talk about a lot in the videos that I took. So this is still the Peruvian Loose Wave Hair from Venus.com. They were nice enough to send me some hair for my Flirty 30 because I wanted a mommy makeover. And I'm still loving it. I've had it in for almost a month now, which I can't even believe that. Um, that curl is going to follow me. Anyway, but I've had it in for almost a month now. And I've washed it, conditioned it, you know, styled it a lot since having it installed and as you can see like it still looks good like it's still super shiny still really soft like it doesn't tangle um i have had a little bit of shedding but that's normal anytime you brush human hair some of it is going to come out but it hasn't been a lot of it or anything like that so i still love it <laughs> loving it loving it loving it um so now for vegas i'm gonna do this review as a person who hadn't been to Vegas before. So for a first timer, um, we stayed at the Bellagio. That was great. Um, and of course we walked around and looked at a lot of the different hotels. And the one thing that I can say is that I liked um, the Bellagio better than the other hotels we got to see while we were there. Now, we didn't get to go inside the Wynn and the Encore, and I hear that those are pretty nice, and they kind of give the Bellagio a run for their money, um, as well as the Venetian. We didn't go on the Venetian, which I know is going to be shocking to some people, um, but we didn't, and I feel like um, the Bellagio was really nice. Um, we did get a chance to go into the MGM, and the MGM was banging. Like You could tell they catered to a younger crowd. They had a Really nice food court um, that had places to eat in all different types of um, price ranges or budgets. And I thought that was really cool. Um, whereas at the Bellagio, like you, you are spending your coin, all of it, all the time. Which is to be expected, I think, though, if you're in Vegas. And we were prepared for that. Like we were going for the foodie or like the food experience. So that didn't bother us, but like if I was on spring break, I don't know, like if I was on spring break in college, that staying at the Bellagio would be um, a good choice. So, but our room was really nice, which I do have a, a video of the room tour. Um, our room was really nice. The casino did have the secondhand smoke smell, but it wasn't that bad. Not as bad as in other properties that we had a chance to visit. Um, I felt like the people that worked there were really nice and accommodating and helpful. Um, whenever we needed or wanted something, they were really quick to help us out. Um, so I have nothing negative to say about the Bellagio at all. Um, a couple tips that I would have for people who are going to Vegas, especially ladies, and if this is your first time, the first thing I'm going to say is make sure you wear comfortable shoes. I read that on one of the TripAdvisor forums before we went out there, and I cannot stress to you enough how glad I am that I was not trying to be cute walking around in heels. Oh, what's wrong? Ooh, you want me to hurry up? I'm so glad that I wasn't trying to be cute walking around in heels because my feet would have been killing me. So comfortable shoes are a must. I'm going to go so far as to say make sure you wear some cute sneakers. Because I don't know that some of my my comfortable shoes, which are like cute little ballet flats, would have been all that comfortable for how much we ended up walking. 
Which brings me to my next tip. I read a lot that you probably need a rental car for your first trip to Vegas or it's recommended that you rent a car in Vegas. I'm so glad we did not rent a car um, because we kind of kept it on the strip. Like we didn't really leave the strip at all because it was our first time in Vegas and we wanted to get the strip experience. So if you're going to do that, I'm almost done, buddy. If you're going to do that, I don't think you need a car. So... Determine what it is you want to do and don't rent a car if you don't feel like you absolutely, absolutely like have to. Um, so that's my next tip. Um, another tip that I have would be if you're going to have drinks, drink while you're gambling. Don't buy drinks walking around just because you see everybody else walking around drinking because you get them much cheaper or for free in the casino. You know, you have to tip them. So that's like a cost, but it's not you know, eight bucks for a drink inside the casino. Um, what are some other tips? Oh, I'm not under the impression that Vegas is very family friendly. I did see people there with their kids in strollers and stuff, like using strollers. And that just looked like it was a headache. I personally wouldn't take anyone who could not walk themselves to Vegas. Um... And now that he's getting fussy, I'm going to go ahead and end this and come back um, later with more tips. Okay, so I'm back from our Black History Month um, step show program thing that we went to. It was really nice, um, but it was very hot in that auditorium. And as you can see, like, it sweated out my dew. So now I totally get what that expression, sweating your weave out, like I, now I totally get what that's about. I'm not happy about that. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to come back with some more Vegas tips. What's going on? Um, with some more Vegas tips. Another tip that I thought I would mention is for the ladies, it was so helpful to me to have a... Um, crossbody like mini bag um instead of me having my um you know like a, a normal size I guess somewhat large purse it was so super helpful to have just like a mini bag that I could just wear on my body for one because we were doing a lot of walking and you know like shopping and stuff like that and there were a lot of people around um and for two, like when you are in the casinos, like playing, you don't, well, I personally didn't want to sit my bag down. Like I wouldn't have wanted to sit my bag down um, and just being able to wear it and not worry about that was really helpful for whatever reason. Um, so I would say definitely do that. Um, another tip that I had was um as far as packing your stuff of course i packed like lots of different options and outfits um just because i thought i was gonna need those when really vegas was more laid back than what i thought it would be so i definitely didn't need every outfit and every option that i packed i think the next time we go back, because my husband is already trying to plan another trip, I think I'll definitely pack one, um, of course, outfit for the day. And then, literally, I'll just do one nighttime outfit for each night that we're there. Um, and I, that would probably still be too much, because we didn't even end up needing... I didn't even end up needing a nighttime outfit for, like, the nat last night that we were there, because we decided to just... Um, hang out in the casinos and play games. Um, so, yeah. I would say don't feel like you need to pack lots of different outfits because the atmosphere was so much more laid back than what I um, thought before, you know, going out there. Um, so that was a, another tip. Um, and if you do stay at the Bellagio, and I know I think I mentioned this in the room tour video, um, it would be a benefit to you to kind of have some snacks and drinks on hand in your room that aren't from like the mini bar or wherever. 
um, because theirs were a little a little pricey, pricier than other hotels, I think. But not only that, um, but if you move any of the items in the mini bar or like in the little snack bucket, um, it's done on a sensor. So just you moving the item, it'll get charged to your room. Even if you don't eat it or drink it, um, it gets charged. So if you're going to stay at the Bellagio, which I highly recommend because I loved it, um, make sure you have some little snacks like with you in your room unless you you know just want to eat and drink their stuff um so that was another tip and i think that's pretty much it that i can think of right now as i'm going through all of the videos and posting them um during the week if i think of more stuff i'll include them um in a post in whatever post that i'm using to post the actual video itself um, so, I hope you all enjoy this week of Vegas and the recap of my trip. And if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to email me or put it in a comment. And I'll try to include it in a, in a video or in a post if you have a question about Vegas, that is. So, enjoy!